obviously we came up short. House Majority Eric Cantor's primary loss isn't just historic, it illustrates why the Republican Party is in big trouble if it doesn't get serious about its legislative agenda. Here are three reasons Eric Cantor lost, and why Republicans will continue to lose unless they change their wicked, wicked ways. Obviously we came up short. Despite rhetoric about small and limited government, George W. Bush and the Republicans increased spending by more than 50% in inflation-adjusted terms and spending on regulations by even more than that. Cantor, who took office in 2001, voted for No Child Left Behind, Medicare expansion, the creation of the TSA and Department of Homeland Security, TARP, and the auto bailouts. None of that reflects fiscal responsibility. Obviously, we came up short. With few exceptions, the Republican Party is opposed to marriage equality and pot legalization, both of which are supported by large majorities. Despite attempts to paint him as soft on immigration, Cantor wanted to militarize border with Mexico and had a 100% rating from a leading anti-immigration group. 64% of Republicans, and even higher percentages of independents, support immigration reform. Obviously, we came up short. As majority leader, Cantor pushed a GOP budget plan that would grow annual spending from $3.7 trillion to $5 trillion over the next decade. He supported increasing military spending and a hawkish foreign policy. He pushed crony capitalist institutions like the Export-Import Bank, which subsidizes purchases of U.S. goods and services. Cantor stood for a status quo that Americans find increasingly intolerable. Cantor lost because he personified all that is bad and hypocritical about the Republican Party. And until the GOP demonstrates it's really serious about limiting the size, the scope, and the spending of government, they'll keep losing elections. For Reason TV, I'm Nick Gillespie.